This is Doris, a former Eastwood Public School student. This is Si Hong, a former Eastwood Public School student. This is Andrew, he's a former Eastwood Public School student. First question, how did Eastwood Public School help set the foundations for your career? Soft skills, so something like teaching me to be hardworking, um, to persevere, um, and always just to be respectful for others, which I do take um, into my career. I'm studying food science. My interest in food and cooking started from eBask because of the after school care, they always had cooking activities. I always liked to watch them run the activities or even just watch the staff cook the afternoon tea. It got me very interested in food. I suppose that interest carried over into high school. As I was cooking more, I was thinking of doing it as a career. So that's why I'm studying food science right now. I started East Public School, I think in 2005. I'm at UTS and I'm studying engineering. So at East Public, I remember Mrs. Slivero had like a um, space camp thing going on ages ago and that was like a good interest of like engineering and space and stuff for me. If you could go back to Eastwood Public School would you change any part of the curriculum? Your HSIE and those kind of topics could use more discussion between students and teachers rather than the teachers just teaching. I am very jealous of how all you kids nowadays get to use your laptops and learn stuff through Minecraft. I think I would have focused a lot more and learned a lot more efficiently if we got to play Minecraft in classes, even using for maths and stuff. I think using these skills really helps kids think about them more rationally and understand how it's actually useful when applied. I would bring back Space Camp because that was definitely like excitement thing that people would want to go to. What subjects would you tell your 12 year old self to focus on to gain better results? I kind of neglected my English and the importance of um, English and studying and reading and literature. So I'd probably say, yeah, definitely more my English. I would have probably said, hey, you six, Andrew, keep on studying maths, make sure you're good at maths and don't goof around in science class. Because I think knowing those chemistry basics at a younger age would really help get a step up when you actually start learning it in high school. I would have probably told myself to focus on English because I wasn't amazing in that. I did get better in the end in high school, but it was definitely a lacking area compared to everything else I had. Looking at Eastwood Public School now, what has changed? Really a lot has changed. I think there's a lot more demountables than when I was here. There's a lot more fake grass. The bunya pine has disappeared. You've got better markings on the ground and the playground is changing as well. I've noticed there's twice as many kids now and there's a bunch of demountables everywhere as well. Also, the facilities look nicer, like you have a new tarp up there. It's blue now as well. There's a lot of new demountables. A lot of the mulch areas have been turned to fake grass as well now. How did Eastwood Public School develop your social circle? More or less just trying to be nice and just be interactive with everyone. Sometimes getting to know some of the people above me and below me in the grade as well. I was lucky that when I left Easter Public School and went to high school, I went to Borkham Hills High School, I had quite a few people from my grade, which I also knew, go to the same high school. And that kind of kick-started me forming my own social circles and getting my own friend groups. A lot of my close friends did come to Easter Public School and we went to high school together as well. And some of us are at uni at the same place. How did Easter Public School prepare you for the real world? Just by the, the environment that was at school, we had a lot of kids that were very bright that were very smart and trying to get the best out of yourself and just to persevere in hard work and know that you know this thing takes time you can't just fix it in a day but you know if you put in the effort and you look back you can see the improvement and that's something to be proud of so definitely just um, perseverance hard working and just patience. Easter Public School was good for the brains for the knowledge. I think going to eBask is also very helpful because there you can just play, you can socialise, you can learn about like Australian culture really. I learned a lot of Australian culture from there like foods like pavlova, Vegemite, fairy bread and even just like the games like cricket, soccer. eBask is fun for the culture and the fun stuff. Yeah. I was a bad kid when I was here. I got into a lot of trouble and Miss Power and Miss Dundas and um, Miss Donnelly really did help me in uh, becoming less of a troublemaker and uh, I think become a better person. How did Eastwood Public School impact your learning mindset? I suppose with the homework that we got and the discussions that we got, I really enjoyed them. So going home and being disciplined as well and organising your time and taking time just to do everything effectively.
I say by going to Eastwood Public, it really, it helped me learn the basics firstly. How did Eastwood Public School change your personality? The influence of my peers, but also the teachers around me definitely did have an influence on my personality, trying to speak up whenever I can and just to give everything a go, to not be so afraid of hard challenges or new tasks sometimes. I say a lot of my personality developed in primary school. I went to the library a lot. I like to just sit there and read the books there. It gave me a good love of reading. I was quite friendly with the librarians there, Mrs. Welsh and Mrs. Pike. Shout out to Mrs. Pike, great teacher. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like I said before, I was a bit of a troublemaker back then. Towards I think year five and six, I became less of a troublemaker. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And I think maybe more of a friendly person too. How memorable were your teachers and friends? Oh yeah, my, my teachers and um, my friends were definitely, definitely very memorable. I can still remember all my teachers from the six, seven years I was here. I think most of them aren't here anymore. Most of them I have very good memories with. I can remember every single teacher I've had, so <laughs> that's probably good. And my friends, uh, yeah, like, like I said, a lot of my friends from primary school I still see quite often. So yeah, they, they've all had like a lasting impact on me in my life. Looking back at your Eastwood Public School experience, how satisfied were you with the education you received? And would you consider Eastwood Public School for your own future children? I think I am actually very lucky to have attended Eastwood. Eastwood not just encourages, you know, academic success and book success, but I always remember I could go do music lessons. You could be in bands or in orchestras. You could go to choir. There's also a lot of like sporting opportunity as well, debating, chess club. You know, going to library, there were a lot of different avenues. If it has kept up, I would probably still send my children here. It'd be a nice, nice continuation. Considering I went to a selective high school and I'm studying at a pretty decent university, I'd say it's given me a pretty good foundation. Yeah, I'll be totally fine sending my kids here because eBask is pretty great. The school facilities are great. The whole place is great. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I had, I had lots of fun coming to Eastwood Public School. I remember, I think... When kids went to go do PWSAs, the kids who stayed back had like little um, interest groups. There was like a Lego interest group that you could build like Lego Technic stuff. That was amazing. Also, Mrs. Slavero used to do a bottle rocket. Like you would get to make your own bottle rockets and then you would get to shoot them up into the sky at the end of the term. That was really fun. All right. Thank you so much, Si Hong. Thank you so much for being with us today, Andrew. It was great to meet you. Thank you so much, Doris. Thank you for coming. Thank you.